everyone my name is queen blessing a big is popularly known as black queen i'm a nollywood actress and a filmmaker yesterday i saw a video that caught my attention um a friend if um i think if he yes share that video um there's this woman that does kind of life program and the there's a lady that called into the program and, uh, and was talking about how she's married and she's been she was talking about how she has been sleeping with her father's her husband's father up to the point that she got pregnant they live abroad they live in italy according to her and anytime she comes to nigeria she just sleeps with this old man according to her she said the man is 55 years old and you know this one she's confused because she doesn't know whether the pregnancy belongs to the man or belongs to the son and i felt so ashamed i felt so speechless because i know things like this happens but when you now have the effort to the boldness to come online to to ask for advice i don't understand the advice you're asking for what advice do you want people to give you terminate the pregnancy continue with the marriage or leave the marriage go to the man the father of your husband and marry him or just be a concubine or i don't even know the kind of advice you're looking for you're already six months pregnant so um you don't know what to do when you were sleeping with your husband's father did you not think where your brains loosed According to her, she says she's Yoruba, the man, the man that the father the, the father of her husband is Ishan. It means that the man is also Ishan. I believe that Edo people have this strong culture where things like this are abomination. And I believe even the Yoruba culture, sleeping with your father-in-law must be an abomination. I really don't know much about that culture because I'm not Yoruba, I am Edo, so I know about Edo culture. It's an abomination. You commit such sacrilege and you come on social media to ask for advice. What kind of advice are you looking for? what were you thinking i mean women we should we should try to respect ourselves we are mothers we are builders we are we are pay setters we should try to make sure that people don't have any reason to call us names we have fantastic women out there we have very good women but you see few women like this one are the people that will just you know when you you have very white clothes you just one person with red oil just come and pass around you you just mess up the whole cloth that is the kind of woman this person is and we have a lot of them like that outside. Women, please, can you just change? Those of you that indulge in things like that, why will you marry a man and be sleeping with his father? I don't understand. I really don't understand. If there is something that you think he is not doing well, can't you just talk to him? Okay, if you want to even flirt in your marriage, why don't you just people divorce? Is it by force to stay in marriage? Because I don't see that one as marriage. You can't be a married woman and be flirting around. You are not just flirting. You are even, you are, you are even flirting with your husband's father what an abomination i'm so ashamed i just wanted to do this video to talk to us women real quick it's really appalling to see that you are with a man and another man is enticing you you try you you're, you're sleeping with another man up to the point where you get pregnant there, there's a lot of bastards out there all thanks to women some of you will go and cheat on your husband because your husband cheated on you you want to pay back not you know i don't know what tells you that that is the best way because paying back, he has nothing to lose. He's going to sleep with 200 women and he won't get pregnant. He won't bring the bastard home. Only the kids that you give birth will be his children. Or if he approves for any of those women to get pregnant for, for him and give birth to children. But when you go and flirt outside and, and also do it without protection, care is not taken, you're going to get pregnant and in future there's problem. At the end of the day, what he did, everybody would have forgotten it. You have even forgotten it. But you have a bastard child that will, something will just come up tomorrow and boom, the secret is out and everybody is running health as get why, why do we women, some of us, create problems that will linger into the future generations and even when we are dead and gone, the matter will still be there. I, I know that there's, there's this thing that happened some time ago. This woman died. After she died, they now discovered that two of her kids were not her husband's children. Those men that she gave birth to those children for came to pick them one by one. And seriously, when you see those kids and those men, it was as if ha, they vomited these children. So, I mean, why do we do that? Now she's dead and gone and people were cursing. People were cursing and she has left those children in, in a total mess. There is no way a full-grown child that grew up knowing that this is Mr. A is my father now being told that Mr. B is his father will ever be normal. The, 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 that guy is, that child is going to be traumatized for life. Mostly when that child is even a boy. Because his mates are going to mock him. They're going to insult him because they have to now change his son name from that. You know, I mean, he's so... Uh, uh, talking about his surface, making me mad. 
Honestly, we should stop this. If marriage is not working, pack your bag and leave. It's why they created divorce. It is not by force to stay in marriage. If it is not working, rather than cheat on your husband and give birth to a bastard in his house, pack your bag with your dignity intact and move. And for this woman that is looking for advice, my dear, there is no advice me, Queen, can give you. You got pregnant for your, for your husband's father, who is 55. Now, what you didn't tell us or what I didn't hear in that video is that whether the man is still married to your mother-in-law or maybe your mother-in-law is dead for you to have the opportunity and chance to be sleeping with him every day since you came back from Italy in the last six months and you got pregnant. Now, that is what I didn't know. Now, if the man is still married, uh, do you want to pack your bag now and divorce your husband and go and marry your mother-in-law's, your ex-mother-in-law's husband? And now, if, the, if your mother-in-law is already dead or already divorced, how will it also still look that you pack your bag from your husband's house, divorce your husband, and now marry or now waiting to give birth to your father-in-law or your ex-father-in-law's child? Does it make sense? You are sick. The man in question is also sick. In a city full with women, it's you, the son's wife, that he, he saw, that he felt that, oh, I, I want to really sleep with this woman. I don't understand. How beautiful were you? Are, how beautiful are you? No matter how beautiful you are, a man should never look at his son's wife. A man should never look at his daughter. A man should never look at, I don't know, you can look at other women. If you want to be an African man that will not stay with one woman, no problem. Can you please do it far away? And you, we women, we should also give ourselves brain. Your marriage, to, I don't, I don't even know what to say. Let me just stop this video here. But seriously, this lady, you need deliverance. You need serious deliverance, and you need to do that man a favor by telling him that his father got you pregnant and divorcing that man, so that a real woman with brains that would love that man and appreciate him for who he is marries him you cannot you don't deserve that marriage you don't deserve that man you don't deserve because there was no point in that video that you said the man was unfair to you you said the man takes good care of you so why would you even ever think of looking at his father now even if the man is unfair to you even if the man beats you every day the only option is to pack your things and leave that marriage not to sleep with his father not to sleep with his brother or not to not to even sleep with his friend is for you to leave that marriage and find love somewhere else. I am so disappointed at women that do these things and I want to beg you guys. This is 2021. I am tired of seeing things like this on social media. I don't want to see them again. If you are such people that indulge in things like that, change now because there is still time. Otherwise, you will be the next person that the secret will come out. You will get pregnant. You will not know until the pregnancy is nine months. You just see that your tummy is turning. You will run to the hospital. You will give birth. Boom. And the king will resemble the person who will give you Belen will be your husband. Please, let's, let's try and, and, and replicate who we are. We are mothers. We are builders. Let's do that and stop this madness. It is not right. Okay? I feel for that guy. I really feel for him. But God will console him because it's not, there's no way. It's, it's, in fact, it's not even easy to hear that your wife is pregnant for your friend or for another man. Not to talk of your own father. Ah, and it's a man sleeping with his uh, 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 son's wife. I am disappointed. I am so, so disappointed. Let them search very well. That man is not an Esam man. I'm sure he fell from somewhere else. Anyway, have a nice day, guys. So if you have anything to say, contribute in this video, drop it at the comment section. Let's talk about this. Join the conversation. Let's talk about this whole thing. And tell me if my advice is right. The only advice I have for that woman, and I'm putting it publicly here, is she should divorce her husband and go and do her madness somewhere else. I'm not advising her to get rid of the pregnancy. It's even late for that anyway. Pregnancy that is already over six months. Let her figure it out. Now she's just going to bring that innocent child to this world in the madness that she has created. May God help her. So drop your comment at the comment section. Join the conversation. Let's talk about the things that affect us. And of course, our children are just, they, they just resumed. They went back to school yesterday. Um, by the grace of God, God will protect them. COVID will not see them. COVID will not see us. Um, with this COVID, we're just going to be hearing it, but it will never come close to us. Pray for our children. Pray, pray for Nigeria. Pray for yourself. Pray for your business. Always remember that God above everything. I love you guys.